This is the first in our series of lectures on section 2.4, entitled The Principle of Mathematical Induction. In this lecture, we'll talk about the format of a proof which uses the principle of mathematical induction. So here's one way to state the principle of mathematical induction. It deals with a subset S of the natural numbers, and it's a set of conditions on S which will guarantee that S is all of the natural numbers. It says that if 1 is an element of S, and if for every natural number n, if we assume that n is an element of S, then we can deduce that n plus 1 is an element of S. If we have those two things, then the principle of mathematical induction says that S is equal to the entire set of natural numbers. So let's um, see why we should believe such a result about the natural numbers. Um, the first one starts with, we call this the basis step, and it starts with the assumption that 1 is an element of S. Now, if we look at 2 and we apply it in the special case that n is equal to 1, since we know that 1 is an element of S, this assumption here guarantees that the next highest integer is in S, in other words, 2 is in S. Now, once we know that 2 is an element of S, we apply this one here to 2, and since we know now that 2 is an element of S, the truth of this statement guarantees that 3 will be an element of S. And then continuing in that way, we would expect to be able to generate all of the natural numbers as being elements of S. So how might we apply this principle of mathematical induction in order to prove a theorem about the set of natural numbers? Well, suppose we have a subset S of the natural numbers, and our intention is to prove that it's all of the natural numbers. So if we make use of the principle of mathematical induction, all we have to do is verify um, these two conditions, here and here. And so a proof can be written in the following way. We start by saying that we're going to make use of the principle of mathematical induction in order to do our proof, and then we split our proof up essentially into two paragraphs. The first paragraph we refer to as the basis step, and that's the one in which we verify that this is true. So we begin by saying we first show that 1 is an element of S, and then we go ahead and verify that 1 is an element of the given set S. The second paragraph is what we call the inductive step, and we just simply go ahead and write a proof of this statement applied to the given set S. So we would say, let n be a natural number, suppose n is an element of S, and then through a sequence of logical steps, we would deduce that n plus 1 is also an element of S. And if we're able to do those two things, then we would say it follows by the principle of mathematical induction that S is equal to all of N. There's an alternate way in which one can make use of the principle of mathematical induction. Instead of saying that we have a set S, uh, which we wish to prove is equal to the entire set of natural numbers, suppose instead we have a sequence of open sentences, P of N, uh, one for each natural number n, and we want, we want to prove that all of those open sentences are true. If we let S um, denote the set of all natural numbers such that P of n is true, then our aim is to prove that S is equal to all of n, and we can do that using the principle of mathematical induction. Uh, we can then... Um, prove the result we're interested in without saying anything about the set S, and here's what the format of the proof would be. Once again, we would have a basis step in which we verify that P of 1 is true, and then we have an inductive step in which we give ourselves a generic natural number and assume that P of n is true relative to that natural number n, and we deduce from that that P of n plus 1 is true. If we're able to do those two things, then 
this set S is, is equal to the set of all natural numbers by the principle of mathematical induction, and therefore we can deduce from the principle of mathematical induction that P of N is true for all N. All right, so that's all that I really want to do in this particular lecture. I just wanted to show you what are the two formats for applying the principle of mathematical induction. Just one last comment that I wanted to write is that the principle of mathematical induction is not a theorem that one can prove about the natural numbers. It's actually a fundamental property that the natural numbers satisfies. If one were to write down a list of properties on a set which would guarantee that that set is precisely the set of natural numbers, what we would call a set of axioms for the natural numbers, uh, one would have to include an axiom um, which was something like the principle of mathematical induction. As we'll see later, there are other axioms which could replace the principle of mathematical induction. Um, but one would need something like that as one of the axioms.